there was a real demand and a need, I thought, in the Ann Arbor market for a premium coffee roaster. There had been one at one time and he had gone out of business and there was a, definitely a market gap for coffee aficionados and I'm happy to be filling that gap. We buy a variety of beans in a direct trade model from pretty much all over the world in, in uh, every major growing coffee region, which is Indonesia, Africa, South and Central America. The beans we buy are, most of them come from small cooperatives, so they're not large mass produced and blended lots from a broad region, but they're small micro lots of coffee. Indonesian coffee from the Aceh province is a very syrupy and full bodied coffee, whereas Ethiopian Yurgachefis, for instance, are a lot more fruity and bright and complex. And Central American coffees then again have their own unique kind of profile. The best thing about our coffee is a combination of three components. The first one is the quality of our beans and the way we source our beans in a direct trade model. The second important factor is our roasting process. So we're a micro roaster, we're not a mass produced roaster. So we're roasting small batches and it's a very tightly controlled process. And the third most important thing is the freshness. And all our coffee is delivered within 24 hours of roasting, whether it's consumers or stores. So the coffee you're getting is at its peak flavor potential when you get it. So the first bean we're looking at is a green Colombian Supremo, and this is its unroasted state. The next stage we're looking at is just as the bean is starting to caramelize on the outside, and the coffee is just starting to turn color. The third stage we're looking at is called first crack. That's where the bean has reached its first stage of thermal internal activity where the bean is expanding and the bean it sounds like popcorn popping so the bean is cracked and it's about halved again in size from its original state and then the last stage we're looking at here is the final roast and this is a dark roast colombian supremo which we use for cold pressed coffee i wanted to be involved in a craft business that was a sensory impacted people's lives in a positive way is a lot of fun and is a great thing for my kids to learn about as they grow up Store your coffee in a cool, dry place. Try not to buy more than you're gonna drink in, in a week. Grind your coffee just before you brew it and never put it in the freezer.